Hey everybody, Chief here. Thanks for checking out my latest video. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and turn on bells for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams. So today, I've got some breaking news for everybody concerning the 5.3 update. So in addition to some of the information that was released recently concerning rebalances on the test server, having to do with mainly machine guns and robots like the Raven, I have some critical information for you all to listen in on. So in addition to some of the rebalances we've already been made aware of by working with them on recent test servers, there is going to be a weapons rebalance concerning burst and sustained damage. So in this update, what they're going to do is they are going to focus a little bit further in making a difference between what is a burst weapon and what is a sustained weapon. So in different, uh, you know, times in the past when they rebalanced weapons, they might have already touched on this a little bit by making some of the weapons perform a little better in a sustained damage uh, type of environment or in some cases maybe even boosted some of the burst damage so what it seems like now is they are going to be actually trying to help encourage people to use these a little bit more in that function and the first weapon we're going to take a look at is the Orkin. You know, let's take a look at what they're doing. First, they are going to be lowering the ammo capacity from 32 rounds to 25 rounds. Now, you notice here you see a red and a blue arrow. For the purposes of this video, anything with a red arrow is going to show what I believe to be a nerf, and anything with a blue arrow is what I am viewing as more of a buff. So with the Orkin, it received both a nerf and a buff. So by nerfing the ammo capacity uh, down to a uh, to fewer number of rockets, they are going to be decreasing the full reload time from 23 seconds to 20 seconds. So similar to the Orkins, we have the Gust. Now the Gust is receiving a decreased capacity for its ammo from nine to five and it is also receiving a buff of decreased reload time from nine seconds down to five seconds. And now we're gonna take a look at some of the weapons that they are trying to uh, differentiate a little bit more on sustained firepower. So first up is the Tehran. So what we're looking at here with the Tehran is they are increasing the delay between the shots from 0.12 seconds to 0.15 seconds. Now that is not much at all. And then the delay between the bursts uh, where it shoots its uh, multiple uh, shots is going from 0.85 seconds to 0.9 seconds. So that is extremely minimal. Now here with the Redeemer, the Redeemer is already an insanely powerful weapon, but they are trying to refocus it to be more of a sustained damage dealer. So what they've done here is they've simply increased its ammo capacity from 18 to 21 rounds. So that is basically an overall buff. And moving on, we've got the Calamity and the Dragon Calamity. This is uh, also focusing more on sustained damage. It already has a... Uh, pretty long uh, duration for its its shooting time. So what they've done here is they've simply increased the damage per tick. So this is at uh, level 12, mark one. It's going from 7,116 damage per tick to 7,800 damage per tick. So that's uh, overall probably about a 10% or so uh, damage boost. And finally, for the uh, last weapon in the sustain category, this is uh, the Marquez and the Dragon Marquez. It is getting a uh, sizable damage boost from 2,187 to 2,625 points of damage. And once again, that is at level 12, Mark 1. All right, now moving on to the robots, I'm just going to jump right in there. Okay, we've got the Ares. We've all been waiting to see what they were going to do with the Ares, so here it is. This is what's going to happen 5.3. Okay, the Ares is going to be receiving a nerf to its speed of 33% while it is shielded 
and it is also receiving an ability cooldown from 16 to 18 seconds. The thing with the Ares, uh, what they were looking at or, or what they've told me that they were looking at is they were trying to uh, make the ability cooldown go up slightly to uh, make phase shift a little bit uh, less influential on this robot. So we will have to uh, take a look at that. Um, and uh, at the end of this video, I will give you my overall impressions. But uh, right now, I'm trying to just stick with some facts. So right now, the Ares nerf that's coming, 33% reduction in speed while it's using its shield. And the ability cooldown is going from 16 to 18 seconds. And similar to the Ares, uh, we've got the Hades. The Hades is also receiving a speed reduction while it is using its shield. It is going to be uh, dropping uh, an... 20% of its speed while it's using the ability and uh, they are boosting its durability from 140,000 to 160,000 and its speed is getting a very slight bump from 52 to 53 kilometers per hour. Now just like the Hades we have the Nemesis here it's also receiving that 20% uh, reduction in speed while it's using its shield and it is also receiving a durability bump from 180,000 to 190,000 and its speed is going up 2 kilometers an hour from 52 to 54 kilometers an hour and the main reason for these changes here with the uh, Nemesis and the Hades where they're also kind of counteracting the slight speed nerf with the uh, the speed and durability boost is to help keep them viable in higher leagues as an alternative to the Ares. And finally, we have a couple of changes to the modules. Uh, one of these we've kind of tested a little bit on the test server, and the other one is uh, kind of brand new information, and that is with the quantum radar. With the quantum radar, uh, as you guys know, right now on the live server, there's, there is a two second delay once you uh, activate the module before it actually starts working. And what they've done is they've completely removed that delay. And then we have the uh, change here to the last stand, which is just basically a visual change showing the activation threshold uh, and making that visible when you're looking at uh, enemy robots. So you know when the last stand is going to kick in. And the main reason for that is because a lot of people have uh, difficulty when they are you know, going against a robot on how they're going to approach it because they don't know whether or not that robot has last stand on it. Now you're going to know so you can approach it accordingly. So now my overall thoughts on this. Um, well, like I said at the beginning, it makes a little more sense now. Uh, some of the changes that they were making with the uh, machine guns to try and make them a little bit more of sustained damage dealers. And I think uh, when I'm looking at this now, I can kind of understand where they're coming from. Um, do I think they needed to uh, to have those adjustments? Uh, not so much. I, uh, I do like the uh, decrease in the reload time for the machine guns, but uh, I don't really like the uh, slight nerf that the, uh, that the Avenger and the Tempest are taking. But, uh, you know, we'll see how they all work together once they hit the live server and we'll, uh, you know, go on from there. Now, as far as the uh, changes to the Orkin and the Gust, well, the Orkin's already kind of been nerfed, you know, it's, it's been nerfed quite a few times now. Um, is this going to be a nerf? I don't know. Um, definitely decreasing the ammo capacity I think is going to be a nerf, but uh, also decreasing the reload time uh, could be overall more helpful, but you are definitely going to have to uh, plan ahead when using something like the Orkin uh, so that you can definitely take advantage of its burst ability rather than, you know, hoping that you can and uh, take take somebody out with uh, with any kind of sustained damage um, and the gust uh, I don't know if I really like this change um, I really want to test it out before I can pass judgment on it I'm a huge fan of the shotgun weapons and uh, the gust is definitely one of my favorites um, 
and and the main thing that uh, I really like about the uh, the Gus and the shotguns in general is uh, it it has a good sustained uh, damage capability. So with this change, you know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> once again, I'm really gonna have to test it out. Uh, I think uh, being able to do a little bit more burst damage up front would be kind of cool with the gust, but uh, we'll have to see how it's really of you know impacted with the uh, sustained uh, damage capabilities. And then the uh, Tehran. Well, the uh, Tehran. Um, you know, I, I I guess I'm okay with these changes. Uh, I don't really use the Tehran all that often anymore, but uh, you know, it it really is a good weapon, and it does quite a bit of damage. And I think the changes to this are so minor. I think that uh, overall, it might actually be a little more helpful because then you can just do more of a constant barrage uh, with the Tehran rather than uh, you know shooting all of your plasma and then uh, waiting a little bit longer for a reload so we will uh, we'll have to take a look at that as well uh, the Redeemer I don't know I don't know about this one I mean I'm I'm usually not too hesitant when something is getting a buff but uh, the, the Redeemer is a very powerful weapon to begin with and uh, going from 18 to 21 uh, shots well we're gonna have to 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 take a real hard look at that but uh i i th i think that might be a little bit too much um but uh we'll we'll have to uh test it once again on the live test server and see what happens uh the calamity dragon calamity um i think it's much needed uh to give it a little bit of a boost because it's uh you know it's really been lacking since it was released uh you don't see it all that often in the uh, upper leagues uh it is a nice weapon but it definitely could use that little little boost in damage. And the same with the uh, Marquez, in the Dragon Marquez. Uh, it could definitely use some of that uh, little bit of boost to damage. Um, initially, there was a lot of excitement around both of those weapons when they came out, and then uh, people started leveling them up and trying them out, and in the uh, upper leagues, they just didn't quite perform quite as well as people expected, I think. So we will take a look at that. And now on to the uh, robots, uh, the Ares. Well, I uh, I'm not a big fan of the Ares mainly because of the uh, the Ares train. Um, and will these changes really have an impact on the Ares train? That's what I'm interested in. Um, I think the uh, additional cooldown time is definitely welcome. Uh, I think that will make it a little bit harder for people to do an Ares trend, but I don't think it's going to stop them from doing it. Um, and I think uh, on recent test servers, we already showed that uh, the decreased speed while using its ability really didn't have much of an impact on it whatsoever as far as using the uh, Ares train. But uh, overall, the robot is still going to be very viable. It's still going to be very strong. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully... Hopefully this is the uh, first step in uh, trying to uh, tame the uh, Ares train, even though they didn't say that that was why they were making the adjustments to it, um, it, uh, it, it definitely needs to be adjusted. Uh, the Hades and the Nemesis, I definitely welcome the uh, increased durability, um, but uh, you know I, I really don't see a reason for them to need any kind of a nerf whatsoever on their speed while using their ability neither one of them are a problem uh, as far as the uh, you know running a train with them and I don't think they ever will be and the reason for that is because they don't have that built-in damage output that the Ares has so while somebody could technically run a train using those it's not going to be very effective for them because they aren't able to shred any opposing robots uh, so quickly and uh, finally, the modules. Um, the Quantum Radar, definitely, I think that is an improvement. I think it's going to help uh, deal with some of those uh, pesky Aljuns that are uh, flying about. And, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to completely destroy them, you know, or, or uh, but too much of a, of a damper on uh, using the uh, robots with uh, the stealth ability 
but uh, I think for players and continuity of, of play, you know, of the game itself, um, and the mechanics of being able to actually have an ability start as soon as you click it, I think it's kind of an important change, and, and I'm, I'm very happy with that. And finally, the uh, last stand. Uh, this one here, I'm kind of torn on. Ultimately, I don't think it really makes a difference. It's not going to change how strong the last stands are in the game. Um, it might allow some players to uh, make some decisions based on, you know, whether or not a uh, an opposing robot has last stand equipped and when it activates. Uh, I don't know, but uh, you know, we'll we'll take a look at that. I think part of part of the benefit that uh, players have from having last stand is that you don't know whether or not they have it, and and I think that is a benefit, especially you know since that module costs 5,000 gold. It's uh, it's a very expensive module, very expensive to level up. And, you know, we don't see the level of the robots or the weapons that are equipped, uh, you know, when we decide whether we're going to engage them or not. So I don't really think it's necessary uh, to have that with the last stand either. Um, but that's, uh, you know, my opinion. But uh, overall, I don't think it's really going to alter the functionality of it. So I'm... Uh, really not overly concerned with it so that's going to be it for the video guys i hope that uh, this information was useful to you i wanted to get it out to you as soon as possible um, as soon as pixonic was uh, able to share it with me i'm trying to put the video together and bring it to you so hopefully you guys had your notifications turned on and you knew when this video dropped and if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button make sure you've got the notifications turned on so that you can get this kind of information first. So until the next video guys, Chief out.